So Jake, what are you going to do today? I'm going to cut the grass, make our yard look beautiful. What are you doing today? Same thing I do every day. Try to fix this damn boat. <laughs> Too intense. I feel like I've been tarred and feathered. Yeah. The modern day version of it. Hi, I'm Jake. And this is Nick. We spent a year buying and refitting our 30 foot sailboat. Just as our adventure was beginning, we ran aground and learned the limitations of our boat and ourselves. Now back on the hard, we set out to fix Ixion and learn what it takes to sail the world. following day, I just finished up. As I finished up the keel, and then I started um, sanding the hull where it was dragged on the rocks. That's gonna take a little bit more time, but I'll show you what you got. And meanwhile, there's someone else here doing work today. Finished grinding down here. We basically got it down to just the barrier coat. Um, there are some spots where lead is exposed. Um, because, well, basically underneath the barrier coat is wet, so. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a palm sander, just kind of smooth it out, fair in any spots that need to be fair, beat out the bottom to smooth it out, glass the top up here, and then paint it. Um, it should be something we can do in like a day or two. So it should be quick, it should be easy. Um, and right now, as we speak, Nick is actually up on deck. Uh, well, actually in the cabin, finishing up the grinding in the bilge um, to get it ready for glass. So, pretty much, we're pretty much coming to a head on both of these projects. It's hot. Spared you a lot of the grinding that I've been doing. I uh, figured. Between all the channels of YouTube sailingness, everybody's seen their share of grinding. I found a crack that wasn't really repaired properly. It was from previous damage. And I know it's previous because the cracks are, are a little black. And that's usually indicative of longer term water moisture. Um, so we're going to grind those out and fill them in um, as we do the repair. Today mainly, we are going to strip the rest of the gel coat that's all over the bilge, get it cleaned up and ready to template and fiberglass tomorrow. I am officially done sanding off gel coat. I think we're as good as we're gonna get it. I think we have more than enough surface area to account for a spot or two of gel coat that may not have the same kind of holding strength as as the rest of the fiberglass. So I'm gonna start cleaning and then templating. See you soon. So here's how this is gonna go. We're gonna use the cardboard. We're gonna use it to get the shape of the bilge so then we can then use it, that template to cut out the fiberglass. Yes. Yeah.
Top of the say one sentence brought to you by Nick. So a little, a little about the Catalina keel stub repair. Now when Catalina built thousands of these boats, the first several thousand in the series were all built with wood sandwiched in the keel stub. Because of that, when the wood started to rot and get wet, it allowed the keel to start flexing and you'd get a crack in the leading edge of your keel. And that's where the term Catalina Smile came from. Now, Catalina realized that their mistake and released a schedule on how to do your own fix. And their schedule actually calls for six, six layers in total. We elected to go with eight layers instead of the six so we're going to have a lot beefier of a keel stub we're we're going to fit all the fiberglass into place make sure that each layer is tailored to where we need it to be and uh, then we're going to move remove it all back out again and the first thing that i'm going to do is fair out and fill in any of the little crevices and and holes that that we wouldn't want to to stay behind the glass all the little air bubble pockets down below need to be filled in that's really step one is uh fit the glass tailor it pull it out then fill in all of these random little holes. We'll let that sit for 30 minutes to an hour just so it gets a little firm. Then we'll start glassing and uh, do the first four layers, then pause for about an hour and a half, finish the, the last four layers, and then let it fully cure yeah. overnight. So it took us longer than anticipated to fit this. Um, come to find out, we messed up somewhere. The measurements were off or I don't know, we messed up some more, so all the holes were kind of in the wrong spot, so we had to make some tweaking. It's August. We started this in April. Hey, we're still at the end of this very long, annoying journey. It's the next day, following morning. Not nearly as hot. Ooh, the scissors behind. It's a lot cooler. The boat is currently in the shade, so huzzah. The goal today is get this all done. 
up first, we're going to ferret, and then exercise wall is kind of drying, and then we'll glass, and then glass again. There's a layer of fiberglass added to the bilge at some point. And I know that because as we were grinding, it started flaking off in, in big-ish pieces. Like as you ground, more would lift up. And to me, that that's indicative of a mechanical bond and not a chemical one. Um, if you don't know already, when you're laying up fiberglass and composites and whatnot, the two, the, the fiberglass and the epoxy essentially become chemically bonded together. There's no difference between one piece and the other. And uh, when you build a boat and you lay up all the fiberglass and epoxy at the same time, if the boat is one solid piece from stem to stern. But it's my understanding that when you do a repair, it becomes a mechanical bond. That means that that, that added part can theoretically be debonded from the whole. And that's basically what it looked like as I was grinding away. And now we are doing a high density, uh, we're doing high density filler, um, no West system 404. Um, and we're just using that to fill in any kind of holes and voids and gaps, just so that we're working against as smooth of surface as possible. Yeah, my hair. I got epoxy in my hair. Don't know how that happened. I got epoxy on my lips. Don't know how that happened. I think I know how that. I think you did one of these numbers. I don't remember doing that. So it was weird. I'm tired. This has been a long day. Finishing up the last layer, it is probably close to eight o'clock. At least it seems like it based on the sun. I just feel like my back hurts. Um, luckily it's not as hot right now, but it's still hot. Almost there. I'm just trying to move at lightning speed because I want to be effing out of here. Also, literally everything is sticky. I've never had so much epoxy all over me. 
I feel like I've been tarred and feathered. So that's it. We are done for the day. Everything's glass. So I'll just like cure until tomorrow. Now we're gonna go eat and shower and clean. And tomorrow's a freaking like Final Fantasy day. Cause I just need to like chill the f out. So we'll check back on this tomorrow. Once everything is not sticky, we'll start cleaning it up. But all that's left really to do on this project is to ferret sand. Just shake it out and paint it. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already and hit that notification bell so you get notified every week when we put out an episode. We want to hear from you, so if you like what we're doing, even if you don't, leave us a comment down below and don't forget to like and share with your friends. If you really like what we're doing, you can support us on Patreon. The link for that is down below. We put our episodes out weekly, so Come back next week and see where we are with our journey. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week. Come back next week as we set out on another journey with Captain Tom.